Metro departments and a helicopter with night vision goggles searched the Des Moines River for two hours in pitch black conditions. They were actually within 100 yards of the police officer that had been trying to look at them, but due to the dark conditions and the rough waters, they couldn't hear it over anything to hear the officer yelling. A thermal imager spotted a flashlight coming from a nearby shore around 1.30 a.m. They were soaked from head to toe, and it was 65 degrees on the river last night, so Imagine being soaked from head to toe and then being that cold out. One woman was taken to the hospital and treated for exposure. Hartford Fire and Rescue Chief Zach Prickett says the Des Moines River's large size and sometimes fast current can make it too dangerous for tubing. Normally it is pretty safe, but like I said, if you're not quite experienced and the water's as high, sometimes it's not quite as safe. Carrie Tyler and her cousins are checking the water level near the Yellow Bank State Park before kayaking. If it creeps up too far, you know, obviously the water is going to cover way more area than it should, so therefore you don't go in. Should an accident happen, fire and rescue officials say get somewhere safe and stay put, but don't wait to call 911. If they hadn't called, they would have been out those exposures all night. It could have been pretty drastic if they would have been in that throughout the entire evening.